Welcome to my YouTube channel Civil Engineering Creation. Today we will solve the simply spotted beam with UVL uniformly variable load or triangular load. Here you can see we have a beam AB of 6 meter length and 10 kN per meter UVL acting on it. First of all we will calculate the moment at point A then moment at point B then we will perform the equilibrium check and at the end we will draw free body diagram, shear force diagram and bending moment diagram with the help of equations. So let's start the calculation of moment at point A. If we consider the moment at point A then the sum of moment acting at point A will be 0 and this triangular load will bend this beam in clockwise direction and this support will resist the moment in anti-clockwise direction. So the clockwise moment will be considered as positive and anti-clockwise moment will be considered as negative. Here you can see we have a triangular load. For the calculation of total load we will use the formula of area of triangle that is 1 by 2 base into height. So here this is the total load and this is the moment arm L 2 L by 3. In case of triangle the load will always act from the centroid. So the centroid of triangle at longer edge will be 2 by 3 of length and at shorter edge will be 1 by 3 of length. So we are calculating the moment at point A and this moment this point will be at the longer edge so the moment arm will be 2 L by 3. This minus sign shows that this support moment will bend in anticlockwise direction or we can say we will resist in anticlockwise direction RB is the load and L is the moment arm. So after putting the values in this equation we will get the reaction RB that is 20 kilo Newton or we can also use this formula in case of triangular load of simply with simply spotted beam that is WL by 3. Similarly we can calculate the moment at point B. If we consider the moment at point B then this triangular load will bend the beam in anti-clockwise direction and this support will resist this in clockwise direction. So the equation will become the total triangular load into the moment arm. Here you can see we have considered the moment arm that is 1 by 3 of length. As I said here is the centroid of triangle. From longer edge the centroid will be 2 by 3 of length and from shorter edge the centroid will be 1 by 3 of length. So now we are taking moment at point B so the moment arm will be the shorter edge of this centroid. So that's why we have considered 1 by 3 of length and this plus sign shows that this support will resist that moment in clockwise direction RA is the support reaction into the L total moment arm. So after putting the value in this in equation we will get the support reaction RA that is 10 kilo Newton or we can also use this formula for the calculation of support reaction RA. Now we will perform the equilibrium check for that we will use the condition of equilibrium that is the sum of all the forces acting in vertical direction or in y direction will be 0. The upward forces will be considered as positive and the downward force will be considered as negative. 10 is acting upward at RA and 20 is also acting in upward direction so both consider as positive. This minus sign shows that the triangular load will act in downward direction and the total load is 30 so the sum is 0 our check is correct. Let's draw the free body diagram. Here you can see we have a beam AB of 6 meter length and UVL acting on it that is 10 kN per meter with support reaction at 
a 10 kilo newton and at b that is 20 kilo newton let's draw the shear force diagram for that we will use the shear force equation we will consider the shear at distance x from a for that we have to understand the load here you can see the 10 kilo newton acting in upward direction that is r a and the total triangular load here acting in b in downward direction here you can see at distance x the shear force will be r a in upward direction and minus sign shows that this triangular load will act in downward direction and this is the total triangular load we have calculated it with the help of the area of triangle that is 1 by 2 base into height so in this case our base is x and height is considered as u now let's calculate the load at, at distance x at b we have total 10 kN per meter but we do not have a load at distance x for that we have to understand the concept of similar triangles here you can see we have a triangle with base x and height u also have another triangle with base 6 meter and height 10 kN per meter both triangles have same slope so we can compare both by equating both triangles we will get the base divided by height of this smaller triangle also the base 6 meter by dividing it with the height of 10 meter this bigger triangle so we will get the value of u that is 5 by 3 into x now we will put this value in the equation number 1 by putting this value in equation number 1 we will get our shear force equation that is r a minus 5 x square by 6 so let's calculate the shear at different points first of all we will calculate the shear at point a then calculate the shear at point b here you can see we have a beam a b at distance at a point the distance will be 0 so now put x is equals to 0 in this equation to get the shear force at point a that is 10 kilo newtons now draw a line of 10 kilo newton in upward direction let's calculate the shear at point b at point b the x will be from a that is 6 meter so put 6 in this equation to get the shear that is minus 20 kilo newton this minus sign shows that this line will be in downward direction from baseline so we have two points so the first point is plus 10 kilo newton and the other point is minus 20 kilo newton so we should have a point where the shear is zero so we have to calculate that distance where the shear force is zero so put vx is equals to zero in this equation to get the value of x by putting zero we will get the value of x that is 3.464 meter this is the distance where the shear force will be zero so join these two points by passing it from this point the upper part will be the positive shear and this downward part will be the negative shear we can also calculate the value of x in case of triangular load by putting the value of length in this formula so at 3.464 meter the shear force will be minimum or you can say zero and the bending moment will be the maximum let's draw the bending moment diagram with the help of bending moment equation for that we have shear force equation that is r a minus 5 x square by 6 that we have already drive it now just multiply this equation with the moment arm to get the bending moment equation here you can see we have considered the shear at distance x so now we will calculate the moment at distance x 
this is the point x from where we will calculate the bending moment here you can see this reaction r a 10 kN will bend it in the clockwise direction so we will consider it as positive and this triangular load will bend this in anti clockwise direction so we will consider it as negative here you can see by multiplying it this equation with the moment arm that is r a into x r a into the moment arm x and minus sign for this triangular load the total load is 5 x square by 6 this total load is 5 x square by 6 that is acting from the centroid here you can see we have a moment at shorter edge so we will consider it as 1 by 3 of length x by simplifying this equation here we have a bending moment equation now let's draw the bending moment diagram for that we have a beam a b at a the x will be 0 and at b the x will be 6 meter and we have noted that our shear force is 0 at distance 3.464 meter so our bending moment will be maximum at 3.464 meter so we will calculate the bending moment at these three points for drawing our bending moment diagram by substituting the values in this equation so at a the x will be 0 the bending moment will also be 0 at b the bending uh, at b the distance is 6 meter but our bending moment is again 0 at distance 3.464 meter where our shear force is 0 our bending moment is maximum that is 23.1 kilonewton meter so here is our bending moment diagram we can find the maximum bending moment in case of triangular load by substituting the values in this formula these are our results this is our problem here is the free body diagram this is our shear force diagram and this is the bending moment diagram with the maximum moment of 23.1 kN meter this is our today's lecture thanks for watching